Hey everybody, it's me Megs, and I am back with a new video. <laughs> Happy 2019 to you and yours. And I am super excited for today's video because I get to try out something new. Guess what it is? <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> what I get to try out today is my best friend's um, new product. <laughs> my best friend's new product. Uh, she came out with some concealers. Guess who, y'all? Guess who? Fenty mm. Beauty Re Re Rihanna came out with the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealers. Let me make sure I said that right. Yes, a retouch concealer to get you what? Retouched and right for those days when you like look like who did it and why. So they were nice enough to send me these concealers to try out. So this is be this will be my first impressions you know of the concealer so let's see how these go down and what's really nice is that they go with the foundation color that you have so my color is 420 so these are the selections that you don't even have to think about like they just automatically go and my foundation color is um, 420 in the Fenty Beauty okay so what's really cool is that Whatever your foundation color is, they automatically match it for you as far as the concealer shades. So let's get started. So I have three of them here and the three colors that I have are, first of all, let's open these bad boys up. Let's open them. All right, so these are the concealer colors. Hopefully it's not too washed out or anything. So the colors that I have, I have 420, 380 and 333 so these are the found um concealers so i'm thinking that i could probably use this one to like spot correct on my face and i'm thinking i'm going to use this 380 to highlight and we'll figure out what we're going to do with 333 so this is what my color in oh girl almost dropped it my 420 foundation looks like all together Bloop, like that <laughs> Oh, on the packaging it says instant retouch concealer it says hmm, it says instant photo soft coverage for all long wear light as air and it's creeps proof hmm, let's see how this works <laughs> so for this video I'm gonna do my regular foundation routine so we're gonna go ahead and get into it so I always moisturize my lips first I'm going to use Urban Decay's Rebound Collagen Infused Complexion Prep Priming Spray. So we're going to spray this. Ooh, it's kind of cold because it was in the car. Ugh. Okay, so I let that dry. So for my primer, so basically I just kind of like to double prime. That's something that I just always do. Um, so now I'm gonna use the Bobbi Brown Primer Plus Mattifier. I like a matte look. And I'm just gonna put this on. And of course, we're gonna use the Pro Filter 420. You know, shake it up, follow directions. You know, like it says on the packaging. This is my favorite um, foundation, y'all, because it has like an effortless match. The finish is bomb, it's long wearing, and it photographs it's like so bomb. Like this is like my go-to foundation, especially in the summertime, or when I know I'm gonna be taking a lot of pictures out, and it has no flashback, like that weird kind of look. So, of course, we're gonna use this. There's no other, there's no other way or choice. Uh, okay, so, you know, pump. Pump away. I do about, what, three pumps? I don't know, every time I put this on, I get so excited. I'm so excited. Look how it just matches me, and it loves on me like this. So if you don't have the Fenty Pro Filter by now, what you doing? What are you doing? Try it out. 
So Pro Filter Foundation 420 is all over my face and looking wonderful. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go in with the Pro Filter uh, Concealer in 420. And I'm just gonna kinda like test this out around my mouth area and see how this looks because I normally don't conceal anywhere else. I just highlight, but I wanna see like how this works. So I'm just gonna put it right here around like kind of like the darker areas that I do see. And I'm gonna put it right here. I don't, I don't really have too many blemishes, so I just wanna see like how it looks. So we zoomed in. So you guys can see the color. So this is 420. And I'm just gonna actually use my fingers to blend this out. my fingers Ooh, okay all right <laughs> that's looking pretty good Put this right here I'm about to be looking perfect you hear me Yes, yeah, I like it. 420 is looking good on me. Mm-hmm. Yes, I like 420 to kind of like I feel like it definitely made a difference around my mouth because I did have some darkness around there. I do like that it has a twist out wand. Okay, I do really, really like that a lot. I do like that. Let's put her right here, her little dark, little, little doo-doo right there. Look, girl, I don't really have too many places to put this. <laughs> but I like it. I like it. Let's put it right here where my little line is. Let's see. Yeah, I like it though. It's cute. And the consistency is, it's not thick and it's not really thin, but it's a nice, I feel like it's, it gives me the coverage that I need. Like this is no, you know, we're getting the real deal here. So this is my face with just kind of like the 420 concealer just in certain areas corrected. So I put some right here, but I didn't put it on the other side. I think it's cute. Okay, yeah. I like this, I like it a lot. Probably could put some right here too. Let's put a little bit right there. Put just a dot right there. Dot right there. But let's just make ourselves look super perfect. She did this. I like this a lot. This is gonna be my new go-to. I already can tell. Like you could put this on when you just wanna like, oh, just look so effortless and free, you know? Be like, what foundation? I put nothing on today. <laughs> what? How dare you? <laughs> How dare you accuse me of having makeup on? I look natural. So I'm gonna put a little bit right here. Even though y'all probably don't see anything, but I wanna see if I can get like a super even look. Normally I kinda like to have my imperfections show through my makeup, but I wanna be like perfect, perfect, okay? I look like a filter for real. All right, so this is it. Yeah, this gets a thumbs up. So this is, this is 420. Works for me, real cute. So now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna take 380 to highlight with. Ooh, that was tight up in there. So I really, really like the wands. They're really, really soft. So let's go ahead and try out this. I think I'm gonna like it. I like it because it has like a golden 
golden look to it. I'm gonna use a damp beauty blender to blend this out. So sickening. Stop playing with me. Stop! Stop playing with me! Stop being so bomb! Stop being so bomb. Stop being so bomb. I like it. Like this almost, it makes me a little emotional because it looks so good. Like this looks so good and blended in so nice. It looks, it looks so good. So I only put it on this side. This is the um, other side without any highlight or anything. I love it. I love it so much. Like I really like this. So this looks really cute. I like it. I feel cute. Now, I feel like I could just wear this kind of like as an everyday like routine um, when I want to be snatched. But let me see if I can take it to like another level of snatches. So I'm going to take 330. I know you're probably like, girl, what? You just leave it alone. Why are you taking 330? I want to see if I put 330 just right here. So I'm gonna put 330 just right here for a little extra brightness. Just the just the smallest amount. Oh yeah, this is bright. Yes, this is cute. This gives me like that real highlighted look because I remember back in the day I used to use maybe something this like all the way right here. But I just want it just right here. I just want it in this area to highlight me. I, yes, this gets a super thumbs up for me. This is real cute on me. I like this. I feel so cute right now. This is going to be my go-to. Like, this is everything. I absolutely, I, I love this. I love it. I love it. Look at, look. Wait till I contour. Wait. Wait. <laughs> ah, I can't take it. I can't take it. Ooh. Wait until I set. You wait. It blends in so nice and easy. I love it. So this is what the concealer looks like without the 330. So you can see the difference in brightness. It's just a, like a little smidge extra of brightness. I feel like I would do that for like a going out, like out, out look. Okay, I'm gonna take 330. So I'm gonna highlight the rest of my face with just 380. 
So this is what 380 looks like by itself. So I am gonna take a little bit of 330 and I'm gonna put this right here. Ooh. And I'm gonna put this right here. I'm gonna put a little bit right here, like a small amount in a dot right here in the middle. So this is it. This is how it looks. I think it's cute. I really like it. I like it a lot. So this is how it looks when it's unset. And I didn't contour yet. So let's go ahead and contour. I'm using Fenty Beauty's Matchstick in Espresso. And you know I had to apply this off camera because you know on camera I always mess it up. So we're gonna just blend this out. I'm gonna use my fingers to blend out my nose. I like to use my fingers now because I just feel like it looks better and I have more control. All right y'all, so this is my face without putting on any setting powder or anything. Um, this is, it's so matte. Like when I touch it, my face is like really, it's really matte and I really, really like that. So I don't even see a reason to really, really um, set, but of course I am gonna do some setting underneath my under eye and highlighted area naturally because I bake. Um, I do notice a little bit of creasing, just a little bit, and I think that's just normal because it's concealer in my crease folds. So to fix that, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and look up. I don't know if you can see, but mine crease, creased a little bit underneath my eyes. So I look up and just pat it in before I set. Okay, so that's pretty fixed. So to bake, I'm gonna use Beauty Bakery um, flour in the color yellow. I actually put too much underneath this eye, so don't do that. <laughs> All right, so I have my eyebrows on, so I'm gonna go ahead and dust off um, my baked areas, and I kinda like how it's settled in and how it's looking. So uh, let's go ahead, I'm gonna use, actually this is super old and I'm trying to get rid of it because I need to buy some more. I'm gonna actually use MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Loose. Um, I don't think they sell this anymore. So I'm trying to use this all up so I can get the pressed ones. So um, I'm gonna use dark on my highlighted areas first. And I'm only and I'm only gonna use like the, the smallest amount. Like I'm not gonna use a lot. Because this foundation is already like matte, so I really don't have to set anything, but I am gonna brush away my baked areas with dark. So this is how that looks, it's really nice. So you really wouldn't have to like, 
in my opinion to set everything else because it's so matte already um, but I am gonna put just a little bit of um, Laura Mercier Laura Mercier I am gonna put a little bit of the medium deep all over just just a little bit just to kind of like finish everything off that's just what I personally do but you do not have to do that you don't okay I'm gonna contour with Black Radiance Rich Mahogany. This is super old too. I feel like the color that they have now doesn't look the same. I don't know, there's something different about it. It looks lighter to me. So I'm gonna use this to contour, just to add a little extra pop. You don't have to do this. This is what I do. You don't have to do this. So I put too much. So this is how I'm going to fix it. Take a little bit of the powder brush, a little powder that was on the powder brush, and just blend it out. Blend it out. <laughs> See, it's starting to diffuse just a little bit. Plus, it's okay. I'm going to be taking pictures, so it'll, it'll be all right. I just put too much on that side. Mm -mm. Alright y'all, so this is my final look. Sorry if my lighting changed, but I am using natural daylight and the sun. So this is my final look. I love how everything kind of like settled in and how everything is just laying and slaying. So I have to give these um, Pro Filter concealers a thumbs up. I absolutely love them. These are going to be my go-to for pretty much everything and especially when I go out because those pictures are very important and I definitely feel like I'm a filter like I'm walking filter like I feel absolutely perfect like feel <laughs> cute so um yeah the, my colors that I used will be down in the description below and you can get these yourself January 11th y'all and I'm about to go take some pictures and stuff because I just feel so cute so um, yeah, I overall love how everything turned out. I love that it's like a matte, but it's not too, too matte. It just gives me a nice overall just filterization that I'm liking. So these are definitely a thumbs up. I love how everything kind of melted in with the foundation. So yes, <laughs> yes, I like these. These are a winner for me, and I feel like a winner with these on. So um, as always, thank y'all so much for watching. All information will be down in the description, including my colors and where you can get these and when you can get it. So you can, they'll be available January 11th. So I do want to say thank you so much to Fenty Beauty for sending me these to try out and share with you guys. So let me know your guys' thoughts and if you're going to be picking it up yourself. And if you have tried the Pro Filter Foundation yourself and what color are you and do you like it and all that stuff. So yes, thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see you guys later.